Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I am doing a reading for Pisces. So let's get into it. Messages for Pisces, please, spirits. Messages for Pisces. So we have the Knight of Swords. The Chariot. The Moon. The Nine of Pentacles. center of your reading today temperance then we have the page of swords the eight of swords the queen of cups The Seven of Pentacles. And on the back of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. What is this Knight of Swords? So I'll take them, make sure they're the right way. So I feel this Knight of Swords was someone in your energy, someone that could be watching you, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person comes in and out. This person may have come in quickly in the past. We've got the King of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could have came in quickly with some kind of cup. The King of Cups is balanced in with in the mind and in the heart, but I feel like there could have been some kind of ending with this person. We've got the full moon coming out also, which is the sun on this deck, on the spoopy tarot. The sun is healing. The sun is shining the truth. So there could have been some truth that came out with this, this person that came in quickly some truth could have came out we got the chariot coming out what is the chariot for pisces so you have the ace of pentacles the three of swords and the seven of swords the world So I feel like the chariot is coming out because something is coming fast to you. Cancer energy. Something is coming fast after some kind of heartbreak, some kind of three-party situation. We've got the three of swords coming out. I'm saying something is coming because we've got the ace of pentacles. So some kind of new start, some kind of gift is being handed to you. This could be from the divine but you could have taken all your swords and left a situation. You could have ghosted someone. Someone could have ghosted you, but you could have up and left a situation with someone that may be at a distance from you. We've got the world coming out on the back of the deck. So what is this night for Pisces? So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. So we've got the Knight coming out. So the Moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. You are deciding to follow the path that Divine has given you. You aren't stopping for nothing that's, you know, you're not stopping for anything that's not your wish fulfillment. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. So Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. 
but I feel like there could be someone coming in with some kind of collaboration. We've got the Knight of Wands, so fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that could be in this person's chart. This person could also come in, in and out of your life. So this person is a person of creativity and passion, so they might be coming in with some kind of creativity that could lead to something more. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, and I feel that's you. You have everything you need around you, but there's some kind of journey that you're going to take with someone about collaborating on some kind of project, maybe. So take what resonates for you. You know, I say maybe because it could be a project, it could be love. This is a Pisces collective reading. So not everyone's situation is going to be the same. What is this Nine of Pentacles for Pisces? The Two of Cups. The Six of Wands. And the Two of Wands. The Four of Wands. Lots of Wands, as I said. Lots of passion. Creativity. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So you could be in this single mentality you have everything you need around you you don't need anything else you could be also trying to choose a decision when this comes in this could be in your future energy i feel like it may not be current it could be current for some but it could be coming to you very shortly but you may have some kind of decision to make We've got the two of wands. You could be deciding to choose a path, but this path that you choose is going to lead to victory and it's going to lead to this two of cups, this soul connection, this emotional fulfillment. These two are connected. So I feel like you're connected with this person. Whatever this is, it's leading to marriage. It's leading to commitment celebration you know if this isn't love this is career could be a celebration for this collaboration so we've got this temperance coming out for pisces what is this temperance we've got the nine of swords strength and the ten of cups the emperor so maybe you need to have some balance in your life divine maybe balancing your life out also you may just need to have some kind of strength at the moment as i said balance your life out because this is going to come in for you this ten of cups this emotional fulfillment could be with some kind of aries energy we've got the emperor on the back of the deck but i feel like you you may be not being able to sleep at night over the situation with love or career but I think you need to balance your life, maybe ground yourself. I look at that, it's one and four is five, so change. I feel like there's some kind of change coming towards you. So keep having that strength, Pisces. Keep balancing your life because this is going to come in for you. There's temperance. What is this page of swords for Pisces? So we've got the king of wands. The star, Aquarius energy. And the queen of swords. The tower on the back of the deck. So I've got the Page of Swords coming out. I feel like there's people watching you. They're watching you do what you're doing at the moment, your career. They could be watching you online. You are, as this person could be at a distance, I feel like they're watching you online. You may be doing something online. You may have your business and your, you know, your in on your Instagram or on your Facebook or whatever, and they could be stalking that.
we've got the star coming out so aquarius aquarius energy that could be in this person's chart this person watching you but i feel like there's some kind of wish fulfillment coming towards you because we've got you know this person could also be a wish fulfillment we've got the queen of swords coming out so air energy gemini libra aquarius but i feel like this is you pisces you are in this queen of swords energy at the moment you are ready to use your logic you have been using your logic a lot these days and but you will listen to people but you will cut off if need be but i feel like this person that may be watching you is some kind of king of wands fire energy leo aries sagittarius that could be in their chart it doesn't have to be but this person is a person of strength creativity they're very passionate they're very passionate for you i feel that's all i can think of i keep when i look at this card i think of the gilded tarot deck and how on fire that king is for you so this person really wants you really really bad they're stalking your social media accounts so i've got the eight of swords what is this eight of swords for pisces so we have justice the high priestess and the ace of wands the haunted house so that's the lovers so it's a choice we've got the eight of swords i feel like this is someone else this isn't you someone is in their head about coming in it could be this page of swords this person that is watching you they are in their head about coming in and starting some kind of new passionate beginning with you we've got the ace of wands coming out i feel you know who this is we've got the high priestess pisces cancer energy but this is you pisces you're a very intuitive person but this is the justice you are getting this is the justice you deserve we've got justice libra energy that could be in their chart the number 11 could be coming out But there's some kind of choice that needs to be made this person could be deciding they could be deciding on who they want to choose to have in their life because we've got the lovers coming out on the back of the deck or the haunted house what is this queen of cups for pisces so we have the devil The four of wands and the wheel of fortune got the fool on the back of the deck so we've got queen of cups water energy pisces cancer scorpio i feel this is someone else in your energy that wants to come in and give you a cup of love the queen wants to give her a cup. She's ready to give that big cup of love. She's very motherly. She uses a lot of her emotion, but I feel like this is this other person. They want to come in and give you some kind of cup. We've got the devil, so Capricorn energy. That could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but this person could also be a person with addictions this person could be when i look at this devil he looks just angry so this person could be a very angry person take what resonates for you but i feel like they want to come in to make some kind of celebration some kind of commitment we've got the wheel of fortune coming out so Sagittarius energy, that could be in their chart, but the wheel is turning and I feel the wheel is turning in your favor with this person coming into your life. This person wanting to bring in a cup of love and the Queen of Cups, she brings the most beautiful cup of love I've ever seen. Okay, so what is this Seven of Pentacles for Pisces? 
We've got the bat, so which is the hanged man, Pisces energy. We've got the hermit. And we've got the eight of cups. Got the ten of swords. So this Queen of Cups, they could be coming in, giving you some kind of cup of love. But I feel like there's another energy around you. We've got the Seven of Pentacles coming out, this procrastination. I feel there's someone procrastinating. Someone is procrastinating. We've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. That could be in their chart. They could be in this hermit mode at the moment but they're sitting there contemplating contemplating life and contemplating whether this is going to be over or not so i feel there are two energies around you one of them wants to come in the other one well, one is about to come in. The other one, if they haven't come already, the other one is thinking about coming in. So we will see what these last two cards mean for the Pisces Collective. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles and we've got the Empress. So I feel like this person may come in earth energy virgo capricorn taurus that could be in their chart this person could come in and out of your life but i feel like you're the empress that they're coming to they're walking towards you you may be a mother or a parent you don't actually have to be female you could be just in this emperor energy of birthing new ideas you could be very creative at the moment pisces Okay, what is this Knight of Pentacles for Pisces? What is this Knight of Pentacles? So we have the Ace of Swords. Judgment. Scorpio energy. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So this person's coming in. We've got the chariot on the back of the deck. Cancer energy, that could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but this person is coming in with some kind of truth. We've got the ace of swords coming out. So air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They are coming in with some kind of truth and communication to you. We've got judgment coming out. So Scorpio energy, that could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but this is some kind of judgment call that you deserve this truth that's coming we've got the hierophant so taurus energy i feel there's some kind of commitment that's going to come towards you and it's coming in fast i keep seeing fives so there's some kind of change coming for you pisces what is this empress for pisces what is this empress for pisces we have the six of pentacles The Hermit, Virgo energy, and we got the High Priestess, the Three of Cups. So yes, I feel like you may, this person may come in and I feel like you are going to give to the right person, which is this person, this King, sorry, this Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Pentacles coming out. So as I said, you are going to be giving to this person. I feel we've got the Hermit coming out. So Virgo energy, that could be in their chart. But I feel like you are manifesting this. You are manifesting this equal give and take. We've also got the High Priestess coming out. So Pisces Cancer energy again. You know who this person is that's coming in. You are very intuitive, Pisces. You're going with the flow of life. But you're in this femme energy at the moment. You're in this divine femme energy, ready to give your love. 
birthing new ideas, but yes, there's some kind of collaboration coming in for you, which is very exciting. Okay, so because there's some kind of collaboration that may be coming in from this Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, that could be in their chart. But the Knight also comes in very slowly. So this has, this could have taken a while to get here. Okay. What does this Knight of Pentacles want to say to Pisces? We'll grab two cards. Spirits. There's someone else. Take what resonates. Sometimes the Oracle cards just give off weird messages, but take what resonates for you. Let's make out. And on the back of the deck, we have, I'm scared, I'm going to lose you. So maybe this Knight of Pentacles has someone else in their life that may be coming to tell you that, but take what resonates for you, as I said, and leave the rest. Okay. So we'll grab out some of the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle cards and see what other messages divine has for you today, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please, spirits. We have Anunnaki light codes, energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. So there's new information getting downloaded to you. There could be an end of a cycle in your life with love. As I said in the tarot. And a new one beginning. Chamber of the Violet Flame, Karmic Release, Radical Transformation. Okay, so maybe the end of that cycle was with some kind of karmic soulmate for you, and you're releasing that now. Some kind of transformation is coming towards you, Pisces, for you. This could be you transforming into what you're supposed to be. Akasic records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. So you're doing the work for your ancestors. Okay, so I wasn't going to do any kipper cards, but I thought I'm going to give, do some kippers. I'll do three kippers like I usually do and just see what the vibes are quickly. Three kippers, please, for Pisces. So we have a false person around you. Someone hiding a secret. We have courthouse. So there's some kind of ruling that's going to come over this. One more, please, spirits. And there's going to be a ruling. So someone's coming to bring you some communication or truth. And then there's going to be a judgment call coming because of this truth and communication. On the back of the deck, we have distant horizon. So this is coming in the future towards you. So thank you for coming to my reading, Pisces. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to listen to something, check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces there. I'm grateful to have every single one of you watching, liking, and subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me having you all here. I hope you all have the best weekend, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.